Almost every time you try to log into an application, you have the option to toggle and see or hide your password. My name is Anya Shah, and today let's add this functionality to our Bubble applications. To start, you can build your own sign-up login page and flow, and I have a video on how to do that, but I want to focus more on the specific functionality of changing passwords. So here I'm just going to go ahead and go to my component library and drag a login screen in. This is going to allow us to focus on that functionality and not on the visuals. Here I have some sort of email and when I go to put in the password, we see that it ends up like this. And you can't really see what you put. One common functionality though with almost any application you would use is the ability to toggle between seeing your password and not seeing it. Let's add this to our applications. In order to do that, we first need to have some sort of vessel to toggle through. So I'm going to go on this group password and just drag an icon in. For some stylistic thing, I'm going to right click on both of these click group elements in a row container. Then I'm going to switch the order of these elements and make this a fixed 48 by 48. Oop. Fixed 32 by 32. And not focus too much on the styles there. It's bothering me, so let's put it in the middle. Now, instead of these three bars, let's make it this I. Now, I'm going to go down here to Visual Elements and click Install More. Then, I'm going to search up Reveal. I'm going to install this reveal and hide password by zero crude. This is used by, let me show you, reveal, by more than 65,000 applications. And it's a great plugin that really makes this simple functionality that much easier to add to your application. We can find it over here, and it's just a small thing that we need to add somewhere on our page. You can hide it wherever. I'm just going to keep it down here and it doesn't really bother me in that way. I'm gonna click on this input password and scroll down here to ID attribute. If you don't see this, you might have to go to settings, general, and then scroll down here to advanced options and click expose the option to add an ID attribute. Once you've clicked that, then you're gonna get this option as well down here and just go ahead and type in anything you want. Make sure you keep these consistent. If you want to store this somewhere, that's your prerogative. I'm just going to type in password to keep it simple for the sake of this video. Now's when it's all going to come together. On this icon, I'm going to click add a workflow. And I'm going to go down here to element actions and click toggle a reveal which is a new functionality being given to us by the fact that we were able to add this element and plug it. Then we have to give some sort of ID because we're telling it to toggle a reveal and I'll show you what that does, but it needs to know which input we are talking about. This is with this ID attribute that it's going to be able to identify. It. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that onto this work. only once. Now let's see what this does. I'm going to reload and we can see this show up over here. I'm just going to type hello into this box. When I click this, we can see that it shows. And when, when I click it again, it goes back to normal. This is exactly the functionality we want. The last thing to do here is make it so that this icon itself changes accordingly. There are multiple ways to do this, and I'm just going to show you one of them. 
let's click on this icon and add a conditional to say when reveal A's toggle visible is yes. When this thing is visible, then this icon is going to be this closed eye. Let's preview. I'm going to type something in. It's not visible. Let's click this and we can see this changes and this changes as well. Then when we click it, we can see that both the icon and this text field keep changing accordingly. That took us, what, five minutes? And it's a great functionality to add that extra something to your application. Thank you for your time, and I hope this was helpful.